YouTube, it's your girl keeping it real with Trey Love. So today is my very first YouTube video. I made a snippet this morning talking about that I was going to make this video when I finished making my coins. And today I will be addressing a big boon better known as Wanda Whitley. Yes, and I said your name, Wanda Whitley. So guys, let me first tell you what happened. Something that didn't even cause for a video to be made. So anyway, genuinely Nisha um, made a video the other day. And Big Boone, better known as Wanda Whitley, came under Nisha's video and made it her business to tell Nisha how the hairstyle that she had made her look old. And then after that, she the next day made a video addressing the comment that Nisha had made under her post. So what I did when I saw the video, I made a comment under Wanda's video. And I'm going to simply tell you guys what the comment said, okay? One moment, let me pull it up. Okay, so under, under Wanda's video is called Addressing Genuinely Nisha, okay? So under that comment, the only thing I said was, Wanda, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. What you think may be cute, someone else may think what you think may not be cute, someone else may think it is. I saw the comment and I did think it was rude of you to say that, especially since you have always came for Nisha for no reason and the simple fact that she has never jumped under your post and said any of the sort to you when she could have. I think Nisha is a beautiful person with a beautiful soul. Nisha endured a lot from a few of you content creators and she stood gracefully by herself and took it. I like you now, Wanda, because I didn't when you was coming for Nisha for Cindy. I remember those days, but I did think that was rude. That was my comment to her now two days later she come back and she responds keeping it real Nisha play that role sweetie and she lies a lot I have talked to her personally over the phone she need to drop that genuine unless she is going to add lying to it now I do agree I may have said it in a rude way but I promise you it wasn't malice at all. She is a beautiful woman, but that hairstyle made her look old as hell and sickly. Now I seen her latest video thumbnail and she had a bow tie around it and she looked really cute. So for her to go over there and chime in with that clown as Igor just confirms what I know. She's sneaky and low-key, just as messy as the motherfuckers she's cheering on. Love you, even if you don't love me back. I'm just keeping it real. <coughs> Excuse me. So I responded, Wonder Whitley, I think all you creators lie. But if Nisha does lie, that's Nisha's business and not yours. Wanda, there is several things that make you look older, but Nisha has never came to your page and called them out. Nisha and I are friends on Facebook. And again, I remember, I think Nisha is a sweet person. Wanda Whitley, no, I still love you now, Wanda. Wanda responded, and that's your opinion. And maybe that's why you are a bit biased in this because y'all are cool. Lie, what have I lied about or on other than me tripping? It's a difference and look old, sweetie. I am 57 to be exact. So don't bother me at all, but she is in her 30s and look as almost old as me. 
Hell, I'm not the only one that said the shit, baby. But of course and always, I'm the only one people come for and that's cool. And I don't have a thing on this world to lie about on YouTube or to YouTube. So tell me something I lied about that I wasn't being funny on. I'll wait. My response was, the same way you were biased when it came to Cindy. That way, every chat I go into, no, I'm not biased with anyone. I speak the truth. You've been on Nisha from day one for no reason, and you're right. It's my opinion just as it is yours. And I then responded, Wanda, and there are plenty of people that say things about you as well. So that means nothing that you're not the only one. She responded, keeping it real with Trey Love. Okay, I see you won't combo because you're beginning to not make sense. Done. So I responded, oh lady, you are hilarious. If I just wanted combo, it would be with someone that had something to talk about. The truth doesn't make sense to you. I'm sure that's why you refuse to accept. You are messy and full of shit. That was it. So I wake up this morning and I see Miss Wonder Whitley has made another video said, let's hold on, let's find, cause I don't want to get it confused. Let's find exactly what that particular video said because I don't want to get her words confused. So I woke up this morning and Wanda, better known as Big Boone, had made a video saying addressing the dumb for no reason weirdo and she was talking about me she just tried to pretend oh she said I don't know her name something keeping it real something whatever well Wanda let me tell you what's dumb and weird for no motherfucking reason okay so the first thing that's dumb and weird for no motherfucking reason is a bitch with no motherfucking teeth in the front of her mouth sitting on YouTube thinking she can talk about somebody. That's the first thing that's dumb and weird for no motherfucking reason. The second thing that is dumb and weird for no motherfucking reason is a bitch sitting on YouTube that belly hangs down to her motherfucking feet and then she looked like motherfucking turkey necks by the arms. That's a, the second thing that's dumb and weird for no motherfucking reason. The third thing that's dumb and weird for no motherfucking reason, big boom, is a bitch that sits on YouTube with a motherfucking head looking like a fucking highway. That's dumb and weird for no motherfucking reason. Okay? So, Wanda... While you sitting around thinking you can talk about somebody, you can't. You can't talk about anybody. It wasn't your business to go over and tell Nisha what that hairstyle made her look like. That wasn't your business, especially when you sitting over there looking like a whole motherfucking um, elephant. Big ass elephant. It's not your business, Wanda. Now, I'm going to take it all the way back since in your videos, you said I must have been following Nisha that long. You said in your comment, me and Nisha must be friends. Was you and Nisha friends since you say you talked to her on the phone? Was you and Nisha friends? So what makes me and Nisha so much of friends because we're friends on Facebook? I didn't know Nisha, sweetie, just like none of the rest of you knew Nisha. But I watched the videos enough to know in my opinion I think Nisha is a very sweet girl and then to top it off Wanda even when Nisha was bigger she still looked better than you she still looked better than you even in her big days okay now you said I hadn't been watching Nisha for a long time Bitch, I've been watching Nisha from the day Walt brought her on the scene. 
Not the day she went and got Walt and brought Walt on the scene, but the day Walt went to her and brought her on the scene. I've been watching Nisha since that day. That's how I know you and some other creators just start going in on Nisha for no motherfucking reason. None whatsoever. Besides the fact that you had your head so far up motherfucking Cindy's ass that you thought it was going to make your ass YouTube famous to go after Nisha. Okay? And you said, oh, I must not have been watching Nisha because she made a whole motherfucking video of how she didn't care that I talked about her. No, she didn't give a fuck because she was just that irrelevant. But she wasn't saying, oh, it's okay. She can talk about me. I'm good with that. I'm good. Bitches, you crazy. That's not what she was saying, whore. She was just letting you and everybody else know that you were a motherfucking non-factor to her. And that she didn't give a damn what you had to say about her. Because you stayed on Nisha, bitch. You stay on her for no motherfucking reason. Now you come back with this dumb shit in your video because she went over on Truth Hurts and Love and Gossip's panel and, you know, talked about what you doing over there. Now you come back on your new video with the bullshit again. Talking about Nisha must still be mad at Cindy because she took Walt. When the fuck have Nisha ever been mad at Cindy, Wanda? Go pull and one of Nisha and Walt them videos where Nisha done said something about Cindy. Nisha didn't give a fuck about Cindy. It was the other way around. Cindy was pressed and stressed over Nisha, bitch. So that's one thing you done lied about, whore. Now you want to come back with that dumb shit. Mad at Cindy because she took Walt for what? She did Nisha a motherfucking favor. She did Nisha a motherfucking favor. But what I'm asking you, Miss Keep It So Real, go show and one of Nisha videos besides the one where we as the subscribers came on there talking about Cindy's PPP loan that Nisha mentioned Cindy's name. Go find one video since you so keep it real. Bitch, you about as fake as phony as the motherfucking dollar, counterfeit dollar bills, whore. But you want to call me dumb for nothing weirdo. Bitch, look at you. You're a 56-year-old damn woman sits on YouTube talking about dick. What 56-year-old woman sit on YouTube bragging about dick that she getting? You all fit? No, you say you 57. You almost 60 years old, whore. Still sitting here talking about, oh, you getting dick. You need you need some dick. Oh, you can just get it on the weekend. That's all, that's because that's all you worth, whore. You don't have shit to offer but your nasty guts. That's all you have to offer. Then you always somewhere calling Adrian um, big nasty. Have you taken a look at yourself, Wanda? You the one motherfucking look nasty, not Adrian. Bitch, you look sweaty, spitty, um, funky, all the above, ho. You look, every nasty word that can be associated with somebody that looks funky, that's you. No, you see, the, the weird for nothing dumb shit is the fact that you are fascinated and obsessed with Nisha and Adrian. Then you think you got the right to come on here and make comments and post under somebody else's shit. But when somebody make comments and post under yours, it's an issue. Who the fuck do you think you are? You shouldn't be trying to give nobody no type of advice when it comes to look or dressing. 
looks, losing weight, dressing, body, anything like that. You should not be trying to give anybody any advice, bitch. Have you looked at yourself in the mirror, Wanda? Have you saw those pictures that you posted on your community tab thinking you all sexy and cute, but your motherfucking arms, all this shit hanging down like a fucking turkey neck? Have you ever looked at yourself before you trying to address somebody else? Have you ever looked at yourself and told yourself you need to tone this shit up and work on that shit? Bitch, when you take a bath, do you pull your belly up and hold it and wash under there? Because you need to. You always calling Adrian big nasty. No, bitch, you big nasty. You big nasty boon. That's who the fuck you are. Now, let me tell you one other thing before I go any further. Bitch, if I did ever just need conversation, it definitely wouldn't be with an airhead bitch such as yourself. You don't have a damn thing to talk about. That's all you do is talk about people and dick. What the fuck can I learn from you? Bitch, I got a bachelor's degree and a hair license. Bitch, you see that right there? Do you see that hanging up on my mannequin right there, whore? I draft the patterns. I don't use patterns. I draft the patterns and I make that shit myself. Do you see that whore? So I got a lot of shit to occupy my time than talking to an airhead bitch such as yourself. Now you walked around here calling Nisha the Michelin man, gorilla, and this, and always calling a big. Bitch, do you think you small? Do you think you small? Ain't shit small about you. Ain't a damn thing small about you. And I'm going to tell you something else. You a 57-year-old woman sitting over there, ain't even have dental insurance to go get your motherfucking teeth fixed. Wanda, I'm 51. I'm going to be 51 this year. July the 27th. Shout out to all the fucking Leos. July the 27th. And guess what, Wanda? <laughs> I got all my teeth in my mouth, lady. And they're not fake. They're not fake. I got all my teeth, Wanda. <laughs> See, I can smile. I can smile. Bitch, you smile. I can drive all three of my motherfucking cars through your mouth. All three of them. And you talking about somebody. Whore, you the one look nasty. That red shit you had on the other day made you look like you had on a shitty ass diaper. Droopy ass titties. Ain't nothing at alert. Nothing. Not even the ass. Ain't nothing at alert but your motherfucking gums. I believe that's why you didn't get your motherfucking teeth fixed. Because that's all you got to offer any nigga is your nasty ass guts and your gums. To go along with that motherfucking teeth ring in your mouth. And if you didn't have no motherfucking teeth in the teeth ring, you wouldn't even be getting no dick either because your nasty guts ain't even worth it. Talking about somebody funky when you sitting over there looking motherfucking sweaty and spitty. Got some motherfucking nerve talking about dumb for no reason. Bitch, you dumb. 57 years old still sitting over there in a motherfucking environment like that. Then you got the nerd to talk about somebody. Bitch, Nisha is killing you in all forms. Then your sub sitting over there with egging that bullshit on. If I one of really, really cared about you, they would let your motherfucking ass know that you dead ass wrong for trying to speak or talk about anybody out of that motherfucking um, snake looking ass mouth. Got motherfucking fangs on the side and nothing else. 
How the hell are you going to talk about somebody? It's the delusional bitches for me. Very delusional. Then you talking about that's all they do is sit over there and start shit. Bitch, you talk about Adrian every motherfucking day. Every day. Every fucking day. Do you think you ain't sitting over there starting nothing? Adrian just don't give a fuck about you. That's why she not addressing your irrelevant ass. Sitting over there with all that bullshit. You hate her so much you done let them two bitches come up on your channel and tell you shit that y'all do not know to be true. But y'all soaking that shit in just because you hate Adrian. Then you say I'm biased, right? Go ask Adrian. I love me some motherfucking Adrian slaves. I love me some Adrian slaves. But guess what? Adrian has me blocked. You know why? Because when I didn't agree with her, I let her know. And I still love her. So now go over there and ask her. I love Adrian. I love her from watching her. Adrian is a fucking warrior. And I love her. But go over there and ask her. Ain't shit bias about me. And I would tell her. I just emailed her on Facebook the other day. And I would tell her. Adrian, I love you, but you was wrong for this, 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 this. Bitch, ain't nothing biased about me. I'm a motherfucking truth teller, whore. And I don't see a damn thing I said in either of those comments that was dumb, stupid, or irre irrelevant, or not irrelevant to the conversation. What the problem was is you had no rebuttal to the motherfucking truth. So it became dumb to you because you dumb. You had no answer to the motherfucking truth. Now you want to call, you, you, you good for calling people names. I think you call love and gossip clowns, southern clowns or some bitch. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, born and raised and still living this bitch now. So I'm a southern bitch as well. But dumb, no ma'am. No ma'am. <laughs> you love calling people names. But bitch, you need to look at your mother fucking self. Use a whore. Use a whore, Wanda. You have to sit on YouTube at 57 years old and tell everybody about you need dick, this, this. Bitch, you need a lot of other things in your motherfucking life, but you concentrate on dick. You need teeth. You need motherfucking hair transplants. But you sitting on YouTube motherfucking talking about you need dick. Bitch, you need a motherfucking whatever they do to pull all that skin up and make it tight. You need that too. Otherwise, the only thing you need is to sit your motherfucking big ass down and quit trying to address any motherfucking body because you not it. You are not it, Wanda. Hmm. Dumb, bitch, you dumb. Dumb and motherfucking... I don't know. You just, you, you motherfucking dumb and weird, like you said I was. Dumb and motherfucking weird, just like you said I was. <laughs> motherfucking weak ass bitch, now you want to come back. Oh, she must be mad because this bitch, what the fuck Cindy or Walt got to do with this shit? Not a damn thing. Nisha done made so many goddamn accomplishments since that bomb went on about his motherfucking business. And let me tell you something else, whore. All you whores was lying back then when you talking about Nisha sent um Cindy a uh, Facebook message. If Nisha had a sent Cindy a Facebook motherfucking message, as much as Cindy liked to post and show and prove shit, she would have put that motherfucking um, message on her community tab or anywhere else, bitch. 
You've been a liar and you've been biased. You've been hating Nisha. And you mad because Nisha have people that don't dislike her. Wanda, you need to sit your fat ass down somewhere and ugly as fuck. Then another thing, I heard you, I don't even know if I done said this shit, but I heard you talking about somebody else lip gloss the other day. Bitch, who the fuck done told you that shit you be putting on your lips look good? Who the fuck done told you, period, that something about you look good? Who the fuck tells you when you get dressed that you the shit? So much so that you got to go on somebody else's video and tell them that they're not. Whoever done told you that shit wanted to lie to you. They lied to you. And you should be mad at those motherfuckers. And let's get it right, Wanda. My name is Keeping It Real with Trey Love. You know it. I'm the same bitch that when you was coming for Nisha a long time ago that used to come under your videos and ask you then who the fuck you thought you was talking about somebody looking the way you look. You remember me, whore. You remember me. So yes, I've been seeing all these videos and watching Nisha, watching Nisha from the beginning. That's how I know who Nisha is. And if she is something else, she never showed it to us on YouTube. That's just what all y'all motherfuckers um, bandwagon together and just start going off on this girl for nothing. Oh, she's sneaky. Oh, she this. Oh, she that. Oh, she erasing Walt's comments. Oh, this. What the fuck business was that to any of y'all? And then y'all so motherfucking stupid that y'all didn't even think Walt one motherfucker, if Cindy got his motherfucking password and all that now to go in and erase his motherfucking comments, she had it the first time when he was living with her. How the fuck you know it wasn't Cindy going in erasing her comment, his comments? Y'all bitches just start creating all kind of shit on that girl for no motherfucking reason. Ain't shit bias about me when it comes to no motherfucking body whore. I just tell the truth. So next time you decide to call somebody um, dumb for nothing weirdo, bitch, hold a mirror up to yourself. And you will see the dumbest of the dumbest motherfucking for nothing ass weirdos. It, it, it's just hilarious. And I mean, it baffles me seriously how a whole bitch looking like you, a bitch, a big Amazon looking ass bitch at that and not in a good way. Sit over there and have the nerve to talk about any motherfucking body. Girl, your ass look like you smell like motherfucking cigarette smoke, spit, sweat, all of the above mixed the motherfucking together. And you got the nerve to talk about somebody. Lady, let me tell you something. Don't try to do nobody else. Don't try to do me until you do your motherfucking self. Don't try to do Nisha or Adrian until you do your motherfucking self, bitch. Because you can't talk about nobody, not even motherfucking Yaya. You can't talk about nobody, bitch. So until you do your motherfucking self, sit your big, ugly, turkey, um, turkey neck arms, um, bubblegum motherfucking stomach hanging down to your motherfucking feet. Sit your ugly ass down somewhere, Wanda. You bare mouth bitch.